sounds like you were playing a sort of Citizen Kane game, you know, like that quote that everybody comes up with about the secret, the secret, there's so many secrets, as though you were trying to find uh, Rosebud or something. Um, but you did, you did get back to the family. You did find out some stuff. I certainly didn't know about that. Nobody did, and I loved the whole thing with the brothers. I was going for something there um, with the half-brothers because... I have an only child, and uh, it's like I was trying to imagine my me telling my son that I had another child that I'd given to my, you know, oh my God, I mean, you know, like what that would do to a kid. So I felt that there was really something there. I don't know how, I mean, we really tried to show that, but it was hard because his brother was kind of very stoic and, you know, that was kind of, I was, we were trying to go there. And I think there, I mean, you tell me, David, I, I think there was a lot of truth to something like of Robin feeling well, sad and lost and. We had talked about that uh, in the beginning. Um, it's my own personal theory that uh, Robin's genius came from him being so alone and creating his own playmates. I know as, as time went on, when I used to travel uh, without Robin, uh, I would always bring him back chess sets. And he loved uh, the military. He loved uh, military history. He loved uh, political science. That's what he was going to major in. Uh, in college, and his parents left him alone so much, which I think you covered, all of you just covered fantastic in this, but that ability of him to be so, uh, uh, that mental and physical dexterity had came from creating all those characters in his head because he was alone. That's how he did all the voices, that's how he could go back and forth. So and he did all of that, but there was like a longing in him right. that we were trying to find, right? Right, like how, how he tried to connect with people also, right? Um, by, through entertainment, through all kinds of ways that he expressed himself. He was, yeah, looking for connection, which he, which he says, which is, you know, when he did slow down to talk about in these, these audio interviews, it was, it just felt more revealing. And then when you, juxtapose them, getting back to that idea of, you know, the comedy versus um, the talking. <clears throat> when you juxtapose it, you kind of, you, you, you I think you get a, a better sense of it, you know. I, I don't know if he ever revealed himself completely, but I think over time you get a sense of how he thought about things. <laughs> 